Thursday. 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 Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? We in this month, third Thursday. Yo, yo, yo. We did it. It's good. One time, yo. 8 p.m.-ish, uh, we did it. 8 p.m.-ish. I ate my whole morning como siempre, you dog. You know, hey. 305. We do the 305 time. <laughs> this early time. for us. We made it. I know, for so real. We're, we're just only two minutes late this time. <laughs> we really got out of the shower when we were said we were getting out of the shower. <laughs> Yo, what's Gucci to everybody out there in Cyber Waves? Thank you so much for tuning in to Third Thursday's Strange Waves. Uh, myself, your boy Lamebo to my left, my homie G Functified, Mass Savvy to my right. You, how y'all doing? Well, I'm I'm doing good, man. Been busy as hell. Basil season. All the good stuff has happened in Miami this past month. That's what's up, man. It's been a vibe. It's been the holiday season. Yeah. What Bro. you been doing in this holiday season, man? Uh, parties after parties after, after parties. After parties. Uh, we, I mean, Tuesday. We were out Tuesday. I mean, I got home at like 5. You <laughs> threw down at better days, bro, I heard. That was nice. It was One nice. time for Willis Saints. Yo, happy B-Day, Will. Happy B-Day, Yo, Will. One time for better days. That was a ton of fun, man. That party was a lot of fun. Yo, yeah. that Better Days bar right now is popping with that Christmas shit. Oh, yeah. that's right. They have an event <laughs> right now. That shit is so dope. Damn. You go in there, it's just like all Christmas and shit. Yeah, the whole they, thing looks like a Christmas present. Every time right you now. hit a shot, it feels so good down in your soul, you know? <laughs> <laughs> nice and Oh, jolly. we got Guapo El Tigre in the building. Guapo El Tigre in this mug. What's Gucci, bro? Late, pero siempre. What's up? Did you turn off your radio, Guapo? Yeah, I was making the sauces. Oh, okay. Was, uh, the making the sausage? <laughs> sauces. Oh, the sauces. Oh, yeah, it's true. We throwing down today outside after the show. We're doing a little barbecue for the holidays. You know what it is. It's uh, Merry Krima, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, Merry Kwanzaa, and all that. Festivus for the rest of us, dog. <laughs> a whole, a whole Damn. list. He's been Preach. practicing all year for that. Right. Yo, it's, it's the, this is the best time of the year, honestly, to me, bro. I feel it. I love it can it. be, man. It's you a like lot it? of fun. I really do like it because, like, <laughs> Whether you're celebrating something or not, there's still a shitload of parties. Facts. This, this, this part <laughs> right. of the year yeah, has yeah, really yeah. good parties and has really good weather. That's true. It mm-hmm. is actually really nice outside. It's been uh, facts. I can wear hoodies with a reason. Yeah. You know. <laughs> you don't fuck. look. You you're don't not, look crazy as fuck. You're not sweating. <laughs> <laughs> like let that pass on the tipo, dog. Right. Well, <laughs> dog. Speaking of good parties and stuff, we got a very special guest with us today. Who we got in the studio today, man? We got DJ. <laughs> Handsome. Oh, no. John, what my sound effects? John. Oh, Shh. <laughs> John had those throwback as 808, like 8 bit sound effects. We need it, bro. We need it back for the show. <laughs> <laughs> I remember oh. that shit. Gotta throw in a dub siren. Yes. Uh, how you, you know, been, man? Who's well in there? Yo, That's thank good, you for bro. joining us, man. Thanks for having me, guys. No, bro. It's oh. awesome that you took a little time out of your schedule and uh, came to chop it up with us tonight, man. Oh, yeah. We Thank got you. a lot of stuff coming up this weekend, so we kind of want to get it flowing. Get it Hell going, yeah. Man. But you. yeah, you've been doing stuff uh, in the scene for a minute. I think most recently with Rumble in the Jungle. Uh, you want to tell people who maybe haven't been out to that party yet what, what that's like? It's all the bass you're ever going to need. <laughs> 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 we got a lot of heavy hitters, a lot of good DJs. We are trying to book uh, touring DJs as well. Nice. Okay. Um, but yeah, we we're, we just found a new home. Um this coming January is gonna be pretty, pretty. Can lit. you let us know what that is? Yeah, can you talk about it? Is it top do, secret? Do you wanna do, you wanna oh, do like shit. a like a snare, like a roll? <sighs> like coming. Is, coming it, is it already official? <laughs> is it like coming to a theater like near sign, you? Is, is the ink signed? It's signed. It's going oh, okay, on. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Shirley's Gramps. Oh, hey, hey, that's nice. what's up? Gramps is What's up for Gramps, yo? Shout out to you heard it here first. <laughs> Shout out to Topher the alien in the studio. What's Gucci Stove? Topher. Tof, Tof. Yo, so yeah, so like if people haven't come across your style of DJing, what what would they expect at one of your shows? A lot of variety for sure. Um, all all corners of bass for sure. A lot of breaks, UKG, DMB, jungle, Sm- all the bass. Smooth transitions with this guy too, man. For real. What you co- what you grow like? What you come up playing though? What was your thing? As far as like my sound? Yeah. I'm producing all that. Mm. Did you do like one particular sound or one thing that you like used to really hone in on when you started DJing? A little bit of house. House. 
It's a good foundation, bro. Like, it seriously, t- that's what I, I was talking to with Golden Floor about yesterday. Yeah, last night you were yeah. saying, like, give somebody what? Yeah, he was talking about, like, teaching a, a, a homie who wants to start to learn to DJ and all that stuff. And I was like, bro, just give him some, like, old 2012 Dead Mouse. Some stuff from, like, that, like, Play Me record <laughs> stuff, you know? Oh, yeah. It's it's interesting. It's four on the floor. And, like, you can't get lost. You can't. Yeah. And yeah. you can get really creative with the sounds in it. So it's like, yeah, man, house is a perfect, like, starting point for a lot of DJs, I think. It definitely can be, yeah. <laughs> Grew up to a lot of it for sure, especially like techno. It can be as easy or as, as well, like, trance, fucked yeah, up yeah, as you oh. want, yeah. And now you're producing as well outside of DJing. I am producing. Actually, I've been producing before I started DJing. Get out of here for real. Yes. Yeah. Damn. W- what have you put anything out there like in the streaming world? Is that you did a I remix have, recently? Yeah. yeah. I did. I well now with this project, I have done a few remixes that are out on like streaming platforms like okay. Spotify. You know, Apple Music. Um, but prior to that, I've had like other projects, different genres, um, that are released on those platforms as well. But they're all originals, or they're like remixes. They're all originals, yeah. Oh, original. nice, man. Damn, I didn't know that you were like more. I know you're more from the DJ world than from the producer world. I think people recognize the DJing more. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, why did you like allow one to take uh, the lead instead of the other? I mean, I do love uh, like performance, like performing. So I do love like a live environment where people are just coming together, like expanding that energy, just letting loose and connecting. So I feel more drawn to that. So I guess I've that's kind of taken over my life more. I so think. Like playing yeah. to crowds is a different vibe, man. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a whole other vibe. For that's sure. nice. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Yeah, I mean, in, in a producer world, you're really in a room by yourself. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, you're yeah just that's like, true. Yeah, yeah. 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 once in you get a room by yourself, I mean, yeah, it, it, I mean, it, it changed how I produce. Like yeah. playing out more often, I was like, I want to play more of my stuff. I can't play this. I got to change it. You know? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like because you want to like. You want to play with the crowd as well. Yeah. 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 Well, you want to actually have people have a good time. You want to make the people move and stuff like that. And I, I think we all came from the same area where you're like, you go from producing in a room first, if that's how it went, and then DJing after. You know what's make funny? People want to I was dance. talking to Aon Q the yeah. other day at, at uh, Nancy. Aon yeah, Aon, Aon Q. All right. At uh, Oro Show, the Auto Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otto Von Shirosh. Shout out Bermuda Triangle. Shout out Bermuda Triangle. That shit was fire. Shout yes. out Bar Nancy. Shout out Liz for all for allowing us to uh, do all of that crazy shit and uh and then and uh lending the space for that kind of creativity but the, at the auto show which was ridiculous I was asking Aon Q like what he was going to uh close the show and then I'm like so how are you going to DJ and he's like well you know what it really depends on if the crowd is giving me energy and if the crowd gives me energy then I'm going to fuck with you with the crowd but if the crowd isn't giving me energy, you're like, yo, fuck you. I'm going to play for myself. <laughs> Damn. And I can totally see that. You know what I'm saying? Like, It's like, when are you playing for yourself and when are you playing to like interact with the crowd, right? Oh, yeah, right? No, for sure. I mean, There's always that. I'll be chilling in the crib. I'll, I'll play like super down-tempo, like, dubby stuff. And yeah, true. I'm just at my crib chilling by myself. Yeah. People have no idea I'm spending that kind of music, that kind of BPM. But yeah. It just depends on the environment, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you and you prefer like the the faster paced BPMs and uh, type of like music, right? Jungle, DMB. Yeah, probably faster BPM. You know, higher energy music. I do prefer. I mean, I am like a product of my environment, hundred percent. So, I, I tend to play a lot of raves, and that kind of energy feeds yeah. me. That. Well, it was like a challenge when you started playing, though. That that you had to overcome, right? Like as a as a newbie DJ, right? There's a lot of newbie DJs that listen to our and newbie producers actually listen to our show, and it's like they're trying to get these gems and they're trying to figure out like how do I how do I even do that? Like you know how Rema, shout out DJ Rema. Yeah, I met him like a year and a half ago. He had never played a show out of his house. Yeah, and now, now all of a sudden he's, he's playing on the regular. Now he's playing on the regular <laughs> and doing like all these anime tour things, right? Yeah. I'm just like, sheesh, I've seen his fucking progression, yeah. like, literally. Yeah, he found his niche, too. He found his niche. And it just he did. Like, and when he first started, he was so, like... Yeah, but he's perfect for it. Yeah. So I like that progression. What was, like, your progression? What was your, like, biggest thing, fear, or something that you had to overcome? I mean, I, I started gigging at a very young age and, like, various, like, different projects. Um, so I kind of... I never really had a fear. I, I just kind of, like, I've always been, like, a, attracted to that environment i oh, think shit. so okay um 
So it's what, just came natural for me, I think. So I've never, I've always kind of like, whenever I, I receive it, like I feel completely fulfilled and like driven to just keep going. You know, I don't know. <laughs> never had a fear. <laughs> Did you ever play in a band before? I have played in bands Bro, as of well. Course, of course. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> 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 right. There you go. Was a, What'd you punk, play? Punk, what kind of band? <laughs> yeah. Punk rock oh, bands. Like, yeah. Okay. Uh, rock bands, psychedelic bands, like I've indie bands. I mean, I've played and a lot of different projects and styles and as a drummer and like as a keyboardist it, g- it gives yeah. you a different perspective on performing yeah. my fear is like i still have it everyone yeah. i think around here can attest to it is like anxiety right before going on it's just like yeah. i'm gonna fuck up the vibe <laughs> 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 that definitely always kind of happens though that, that only, there's always a certain point i feel like any of us will feel will feel that that creeps in for yeah. a moment i'm gonna fuck <laughs> up the vibe <laughs> I'm like, I want this, but no <laughs> it's real actually that's what we were this. talking about before he started on at, at will's party yeah, what? Oh, right we before like, Will's? Yeah, yeah but I'm, I'm always concerned. Dog. Yeah, yeah, but I was like, honestly, man, I think this vibe needs to be fucked up. I'm like, let's do it. Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, because sometimes the vibe does need to get fucked up. Yeah, but I'll be honest, people went from hanging to dancing. Real. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah I real. mean, sometimes it's a, uh, I don't know, it's not so bad. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> it can be appropriate. Like I, I absolutely. Yeah, I'm open to like receiving. So whatever. I, I have a question. <laughs> so you say you're a product of your environment. What would you consider the environment? Let you from going from being um, instrumentalist to becoming a DJ. Like, were you just tired of trying to get into bands to try to, you know, it's hard to get be in a band because everyone has to be on the same schedule. Compared to DJing, you just work on your own time. Like, what motivated you going through the transition and what was the environment that led you to it before and after it? I forgot a 10 part question. No, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, I know. Well, like, this is your TED talk, bro. <laughs> Did you write that down? <laughs> you, you, uh, nah. I didn't write it down. <laughs> no, you, you, you almost answered your own question. I mean, basically, being in a band is very difficult. Um, it's a lot more costly. Yeah, there's a lot more people you have to rely on. Um, it's a lot more work, 100%, compared to like. Money's got to be split. Uh, X me and my ways. laptop, dude. Like, I'm pretty. Like, I'm on my laptop and like I'm falling asleep, like passing out producing tracks. Like, it's. Yeah it's more self-sufficient so like it, it was a way to kind of like sustain my own addiction towards like writing yeah. nice so like it it complemented my lifestyle like a lot better for sure yeah yeah i mean it's it's wild like being able to 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 be able to know how to work within that world of fucking around with other creatives because that's really what you're doing you're really fucking around with other creatives yeah. and you got to know how to you either I mean, it either sinks you or you or you grow from it. It's the my been my experience. I've seen people who like they're like, no, I can't fuck around with these people. But those people are your people. They're you're literally the same exact person. <laughs> you, know <what> I'm <laughs> like, I know. you know, like kind of neurotic and kind of not and kind of like at the same time ex- ang- anxious and not and ADHD and no, you know what I'm saying? It's all that shit. So like when you when you fuck around with those type of people and you actually allow it to teach you a little bit about yourself, then it leads to like you being better as an individual and being able to uh, co-create on other, you know, on 100%. other vibes. Yeah, you, you know, it teaches you a lot. Like, you, you man, I, I probably wouldn't be the the producer or the, or the person I am now if it wasn't for that kind of growth and discipline working yeah. with different personalities. Team sports, baby. Team sports, Team sports <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. It makes you like more rounded. Build character. It does. <laughs> yeah. and everybody doesn't Did shouldn't you play deserve a. Or just I mean, you got to appreciate different things, and you got to compromise here and there too. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Did um, you play but that's sports? How life goes. Did you play sports or is this something? I like did not. I ne- never played sports. So it's the same concept. The, yeah. yeah, the same concept as band. I mean, I played like kickball before, but yeah, yeah, yeah. but working kickball. So this whole band startup was it like you teaching yourself how to play, or do you go to school for stuff like that? Self taught. Self taught. Yeah. yeah, yeah like just kind of like. You put in your 10,000 hours. Yeah, I just got my hands on, like, my first instrument, and then, like, I just started from there. I was like, I'm going to do this. Like, I feel determined to do this. Were you, like, uh, a lot of people use YouTube, or were you, like, going, by like, reading books or trying oh, to... Oh, no, like, uh, this was before YouTube, for sure. So, oh, like, shit. Um, I mean, I'm a millennial, for sure. Like, I'm 30, so, like, I was, like, I started at, like, probably seven years old. Like, I was, like, very young. Oh, nice. Seven years old? Yeah, yeah. What you was doing at seven years old, man? Yeah, he's done yeah, 10,000 hours, bro. You never shown me music at seven. That was, <laughs> it was over from there for sure. What you started off with, though? Uh, Dude, like disco, um, rock, classic yeah. rock. Nice. Damn, for Psych real. Rock. Damn, bro. Yeah. Seven years old. This guy over here throwing your, it back. And also like techno. Who's some of your favorites <laughs> for like classic rock? 
Um, I would say like Pink Floyd. Um, Led obviously Led Zeppelin. So. All right, I'm a tremendous uh, Jimi Hendrix fan. Jimi Hendrix. He's like an all time favorite for me. Yeah, Jimmy's pure psych rock. Yeah, I love his like crazy stuff, but I love his uh, bluesy side too. You know, that's fire, dope. That's fire. really dope, man. Did you did you have like brothers? Because you're like seven listening to techno, so I want to know how a seven year old <laughs> gets introduced into techno. He was at the rave at school. <laughs> my mother, ah. <laughs> my mother was pretty lit. <laughs> ah. Oh, <it's> sick! <laughs> yeah. Yo, yes. man, that's dope. That's dope. Nice. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah. she's a bump it. What yeah. was the old Miami techno station? I think it was like ninety three. Point five or th- or one. I oh, I remember one. that one. It yes. was like old techno station. Yes, yes, yes. I remember that station back when there was like radio stations. Not ninety two point five because that's a that's that New York. Yeah, no, 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 no back no, in the no, day no, that no. was a rock station. It was right? like yeah. no, it was not the rock station. No, ninety three point five was Zeta. Yeah, Zeta, Zeta right? was yeah. the rock station. It, that was ninety three point five before. But yeah, ninety three point five. was like uh, there was. I just don't remember the the name of the. Radio I remember, and all they played was like techno and house and techno and shit. It was all techno trance. Tw- twino, yeah, techno trance. I remember when trance was really like killing it, back in like two thousand one, two thousand. You know, I'm aging myself, but yeah, bro, that shit was crazy, dog. Hundred <laughs> percent. I, I was bumping it for sure. Yeah, yeah. man, that was, was that was wild. Yeah. It was a good times, man. And now I see how it it like translates to like this type of music currently how it's being switched up you know yeah. cur- so you like to do remixes and switch shit up as well like oh dude i love like editing yeah for sure what's your favorite genres to mash up i would say like jungle and ukg oh nice okay some like baseline right. stuff too um yeah sorry we getting drinks sorry bro we over here drinking uh we're getting ready for christmas yeah right here you want estrella um yeah yeah, like UKG and mix is nice with a lot of stuff. I don't know, like a lot of club music right now starting to blend together. So Wait, he, do you yeah, sample UKG and Jungle is nice. Sample like lyrics and shit, like from other songs and shit, or do you just sample the sounds of or like the two genres? I will extract the vocal stem or find a vocal mm. stem somewhere and okay. like clean it up and remix I've the been, hell out of it. I've mm. been putting like a lot of R and B vocals over my shit. Sick. Like, oh yeah, that's fire. But it, it works well with like UKG and stuff. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, that's that's a good combo. <laughs> yeah, cheers, cheers bro. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers over here. Merry Christmas, Happy Don't New Year once again. Hell yeah. Feliz Navidad. Yo, the, that song uh, that dr- that auto dropped. All I want for Christmas is bass or some shit. Yeah. Like that. Yo, it was so much fun. <laughs> that shit was love fucking that shit. hilarious. The ca- Christmas bass. Um, so do you like uh, Miami throwback bass? I mean, you grew up out here, right? Do you remember like oh, two yeah, life like crew? Miami bass, for yeah, sure. like Miami bass and shit, like original, like uh, what a uh, splack pack and, and shit like that. Have, do, have, who's your like favorite in jo- that genre? You know, uh, Luke, um, fucking Uncle Al. Like, did you ever listen to I, to that type of music? At that time, I was hearing it, but I probably did not know. Who was who? I was just oh, like okay. too young to probably like. Yeah, I mean, one hundred percent. The lyrics weren't pl- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. for a seven-year-old. At seven, he was nasty as, as 70, he wanted yeah. to be. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. No. I mean, I, I was there. I mean, I was hearing it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you. I feel you. But it didn't register like what was popping. I knew. And, I knew it was fucking lit though. I was like, it's <laughs> just fire. <laughs> and sure. in the world of like fucking event promoting, right? You yeah. start you start doing that shit to you want to play fucking sp- spots. How did how did you navigate that shit, right? So like you went from bands, you're D and DJing, you're producing, and now event promotion and creating events. What was that like? Well, that that was probably more recent. Okay, um, but before that, what kind of like got me going, um, kind of getting in the groove was connecting. I don't, you've probably heard of Perreo de Futuro. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Shout out to uh, Saturn. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Saturn. Sorry. I probably started doing yeah, it was shows with them, and then from there, I was like, I love this. Like, I'm in the flow. Like, I started meeting more producers, promoters. Met Topher. Yeah, I actually yeah. invited him to a show. I actually opened up. I was supposed to close for Rego '86, and then I opened up for him so that Topher could come out. I'm like, yo, I need. Need you to catch me. He's like, I can't be out late. I'm like, I'm opening slide. Yeah, um, nice. catch me outside. Catch yeah. my house. <laughs> <laughs> and from there, like, we just kind of like, he's like, yo, we're on the same level, like a sound, and yeah. we're like, let's make a collective. Yeah. So, Rumble in the Jungle is like a new entity, I guess. Yeah. It's kind of becoming a thing. We've had 
a good amount of shows and they've all been pretty like successful too which is really sick we've gone to most of them i, I feel yeah they've all been you nice. guys have pulled yeah. up yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. we've really? been we've been to pretty much almost all of them yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it's great vibes. i love it i love the so, room somebody too. from yeah. the crew has been out to all of them yeah we was yeah yeah oh yeah I love the fucking room. It's a fucking nice space that lets you. Yeah, it really is rumbling in that bitch. Pretty good sound. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a cool little dive. I mean, it's like consider yeah. that a dive bar. Like, yeah, it's like a nah, dive bar. Nah, 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 it's not a dive bar. Way too no dive bar charge you. That's a mid bar. They charge you for beers and shit. Way too clean to be a dive bar. Yeah, it's a mid bar. It's a mid. It's a mid bar. It's a mid bar. Happy's is a dive bar. Happy's is a dive bar. Yeah, shout to Happy's. Shout out to Happy's. Hey, bro, went to that place one time and that shit was so cheap. It was ridiculous, my guy. 100%. That's dive bar. Oh, yeah. like, it was like five drinks and 17 bucks. Is it like bucks cash only shit? usually? I feel like those. No, but it, I did pay in cash and it did help very much in the other drinks. It's like $5 for a shot, dude. Yeah, man. Oh. It's, it's, it's a very affordable place. Wait, it's, um, it's connected to a liquor store. So. I need the deets on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we'll yeah, give yeah. you no, the deets you know, after. When we do the events, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you there's some shit going on. That happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, bro, it's fucking, it's crazy how like you then have to switch your hats on to another whole type of frequency when you're uh, promoting events instead of like just focusing on putting together like uh, a DJ set list or something like that for the night. You know what I'm saying? What's been your biggest challenge there, man? I mean... Not really, no, no, like roadblocks. Um, it's just a matter of just like executing the things. Like I feel like we have enough. Um, I mean, you kind of got. Uh, we, yeah, we have a good flow right now. You got now. a good team. Like that's the thing. That's exactly. Yeah. yeah, we really do. You got a good team around you. It's all about your team. Yeah, bro. One time, <laughs> shout out to the teams, bro. And we all teaming up and creating a league facts, in this bitch. Yeah. That's what I love. You know, like we like with strange waves. Um, strange base. I mean, strange base has been linking up with a shitload of other fucking, you? you know, uh, um, crews and everything. And I feel like it's creating like, uh, like the NFL of Miami base. You know what I'm saying? And like <laughs> everybody got their teams that's and shit, right? But it's all one so league. You know what I mean? Yeah, like sure. that type of situation. You know what I'm saying? That's and I and I love that because up until now we haven't had any beef. You know, maybe we should create some beef. Damn, like, like no. East, East Coast West <laughs> Coast beef <laughs> just for the just for the gram though. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and Jesus. we just like oh when you throw you're down, you trying to clickbait, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be for the yeah, hilarious. <laughs> Yo, I remember that one time though. Yo, shout so, out to Sound for, Clash for real, bro. Sound clashing. Shit, let's go. Like we're gonna throw back like in Juice. Remember in Juice? Like they Two were like Cruz Enter <laughs> one survives. <laughs> Oh That'll shit, be, that's right. That would be so fucking fresh. But no, no, no. We told we were in fucking Denver. Remember that that fucking set that you played? Well, with the back to back, bro. The audio from that set always. <laughs> I wish that we could. Literally, I wish we had the mic. I that's wish the we had the we mic, were man. That, was, uh, that shit would have been so fucking. It, some something happened with the set. Uh, it, yo, it was, speaking it was of so Denver, funny. though, Rumble is moving or growing. Right, Rumble in the Jungle. Yeah. Was um, Gucci? Let us know. You're, you're trying to make it like a, a traveling party, of course. But yeah, we want to. That's like the next step after like being yeah, here. I think in we, we might hit up Denver. Hey, think. what's yeah. up? We'll put this it guy out just looked. Like, we put <laughs> it out there. We put it out there. I, hey, Denver, y'all better re- be 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 ready for the 305 come yeah. through. Base you out. Hell yeah. They Denver likes a, base though. Denver yeah. likes. Yeah. Yeah. Denver they, loves base. They, they, they're they do. a big community for that. Yeah. 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 Like Rabbit on the Moon is like a huge influence in that area as well. I mean, so. our our strange base did pretty decent. We were in the side room and like, with what my fifty dollar promo budget, we did all right. Yeah, man. Shout out to Black <laughs> Box. That's that's, sometimes that's all you need. You know? yeah. That's yeah. Just like, oh. The Black Box fucking side room still. That shit bumped like a motherfucker. I was like, yeah. she. Yeah, the Black Box. I've heard of that venue. Bro, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's nice. And then the main room. The main room's insane. Yeah. Bruh. I yeah. was in there for like 10 minutes. I was like, nah, I can't handle this shit. Next time we go in yeah. summer, though. Body was yeah, like. Yeah, please. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. He said next time we go in the summer. You guys oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we went in the dead of the cold. Bro, La I mean, Muerte. Even inside, I, I couldn't take my jacket. That was, the coldest, that was the coldest morning cypher ever, bro. Yeah, All yeah, of us yeah. were just like. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun. It's cold as midday cypher, smoke, even bro. in the sun. <laughs> Yo, we were just actually talking about outside the show. We're talking about like those those VSTs and shit like that and everything for for producing. So like I was asking you, have you bought one of those or one that you were like, man, this wasn't worth the money? 
Which one was that one that were like, damn, this Put this them is, on blast. Put them on oh, blast shit. right yo, now. Right, right now, we're trying to shit save on. people yo, hey, money. Get your, money back. Get your we're refund. trying to save people money for Christmas right now. So <laughs> if, you, if, if you're going to buy somebody this, do not buy it. What would it be? Tell us, Tamsum. Honestly, I wish I could remember the name <laughs> Damn, of it. Like, Yo, you said trash. it was that terrible. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Was, Did you buy your I can dog? describe it. I can describe okay, it. Okay, describe what, it, what though. It Tell me. To do? Yeah, what was it supposed to do? It was like a, a sampler that would chop up. Like, if you, like, fed it, like, a breakbeat, mm -hmm. it would, like, chop it up. And, like, you can kind of design how you wanted to shape it. Yeah. Oh, like a transient out, shaper? Yeah, yeah, but it turns out you couldn't. Mm -hmm. Like it was so limiting. I was like, this Damn. is trash. Like, what, what is this? Now, how much did they hit you upside the head for that? It wasn't that expensive, though. It was like 50 bucks, though. Damn, still 50 Damn. bones? Still 50 bucks. Bro. For, 50 bucks you know how many something Big Macs I could have gotten for that? Facts, bro. 50 bones was yeah. our budget for today's beer, Yo, bro. Did you buy your, did you buy your, uh, <laughs> did you buy your dog, though? I or did. Yes, I did. I kind of got lucky, though, because I have a sibling that actually works at a music store, so he kind of. Hooked it up. That good old nepotism. Damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I would use that's not nepotism. Hold that up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. That's, not, that's not nepotism. <laughs> what is it? That, that's that's a hookup. The hookup? Who, hook your brother? That's like a family discount, dude. Yeah, that's still that's family. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. Nepotism is like a whole different thing. You know? uh, <laughs> all right. Tell us but, about nepotism, I, I TED Talk. I hooked him up. <laughs> <laughs> See, you got, you got your brother back. Are you <laughs> Check it out. Tell so us. So he received like standard Ableton and I bought the upgrade uh, for Max. Uh, so I was like, yo, I got you. I got you, bro. Thanks for looking out. So technically I paid only like what it was like two hundred or three hundred bucks. For the upgrade, Damn. yes. That's good. That's like if your That's parents nice. leave you a house and you renovate it to make it bigger. You know? Yeah. Okay. That's like That's not bad. I mean why not? You know you feel me? Why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> why not yo, why so what's been like your freshest experience right now today djing that you've been like damn i can't believe i did this shit or some shit like that well this yeah this year was pretty it's pretty badass actually i had a really good you year a ton of stuff, though. yeah i did three points was like a cool that was the, thing. would you say that's the highlight dj experience of 2023 for you i i would say the fact that like i actually played original tracks the whole way through was like a nice feeling like it, it i mean i usually dj yeah a lot of different music and then mm -hmm. i mix in my tracks but like actually just playing my tracks straight through mm -hmm. was like a whole other experience for me so i think that was kind of cool i kind of like that nice that's what's up that's bro that's what's up almost man. more it's like fresh. concert like right yeah in a way that's it that's that really was like cool. really it was an opportunity to showcase my my sound your skill set, yeah. Skill set yeah. yeah 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 because your sound yeah that that comes from like all those skills that you've developed to be able to even put that together exactly yeah 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 that's what's up man that's awesome man what was your 2023 highlight, Lamebot? Um, shit, I, this whole year was actually pretty fucking lit, but I think just because it's the most recent, I got to say Basil. Mm. Just, like, sitting back and, like, watching some of the stuff happening at the shows, I was like, I kind of can't believe I'm getting paid to be here type shit, you know? Mm. Like, <laughs> it, was, it was a nice moment. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe I'm getting paid to do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's always yeah. like the what, the what show did dream, you feel right? that? What show did that uh, thought that occur to you? I though? mean, really, like the DJ Paul one, just because I've been DJ a three six Paul. mafia fan for like ever. That was pretty lit. And then like, you know, being able to, to do the shows with Project Pat and now this one, and I'm just kind of sitting there watching him, and then like Riff Raff's over on the yeah, left Riff Raff remem remembered like, you too and from I'm that, just like, Yo, that event. Yeah, what is tiptoeing in my Jordans, bro? Yeah, I'm, I'm great, doing man. a jungle flip. Oh, doing for a jungle Riff Raff. Yeah. That's what's up, bro. Hell yeah, bro. That would be a dope-ass jungle flip. Riff Raff voice go dope with that shit. How about you, Savvy? 2023 highlight. Oh, highlight? Uh, I'm going to throw it back to the, uh, playing at ba Black Box in Denver. Ooh. That was a good one, man. Bye. I can't believe I was still yeah, this year, bro. If I got to pick a highlight, Sick. you know? Uh, I mean, I was able to play a lot of new spots this year, which I'm really grateful for. Uh, a few new places downtown and everything like that. It's been really fun. Um, and been able to release probably my crunchiest tunes to date yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah but yeah. yeah denver was pretty lit and it was really fun to uh i mean for me that was a milestone that was my first out-of-state gig oh nice dope. nice nice yeah that's a nice venue for the first that is country, a man. first yeah. nice yeah venue. a lot of my heroes have been playing that's there so i was place. i was super psyched when we were able big to ups to topher shout yeah, out secure the yeah, yeah 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 secure the yeah. bag Tof, Tof the how about you guapo guapo 2023 highlight dj moment 
Bro, well, I got, I might as well tell you right now, bro. I got two A's, bro. I oh, started, you started, didn't started, DJ in that bitch. Did you I, DJ away ass into the class? I mean, bro, I'm doing going through a transition right now. You I feel you. I'm not saying that like that. Like, I'm not saying that. Not the highlight of the year, the highlight of your DJ career moment. I, dude, like I said, bro, I've been. I, He's bro, transitioning, this, bro. I'm transitioning, dude. I'm not gonna say yo. I played He's DJ Fluid I right DJ now. like what the Kendall Ice Arena? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no way. Boy. You yeah. been DJing a shitload of shit though. I see you pop up everywhere. I mean, you okay. just DJ at fucking. Uh, did you DJ at, at um? Better days, just Better days, yeah. Day on Tuesday, what the fuck? This guy, surprise, this surprise. guy is always like forgetting he'd be everywhere. Be like, nah. and surprise. the other day I saw you at fucking Citadel, right? I mean, you know what? The fuck? I'll tell <laughs> you, I know. I, 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 highlight, <laughs> career, like music highlight, I guess me going back to back with Renee and recording hey. it. Oh, oh yeah, 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 that was nice, dude. Yeah, we're oh, here for the 13th anniversary. Oh, yeah. here at yeah. fucking Jolt. That was a smooth one. Yeah, that was a dope ass party, man. Oh, we're gonna get into some music in a minute for sure. Uh, man. Before we do, do we have any last? Uh, I did not make a calendar because fucking litmus. Mm. Yeah, um, same. Uh, but, but I mean, yeah, this is a does shit anybody little here have any shout yeah, outs uh, to shows? Okay, all right. So going back to Happy's Dive Bar. Uh, uh, What's the, up? Tell us. So the the thirty first, they're doing a party that's gonna be spun by Mahogany's own DJ Wing. Mm. You can see her the 31st. and I DJ think Wing at Happy's, the 31st, the cheapest place in all of Miami Day that you're going to fucking be able to and, bring and, in the new year. <laughs> and it's at the beach. And yeah. it's at the beach, North Miami Beach. $5 tequila, $5 vodka. Cheap. Shout out DJ True in this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. shout hey, out DJ True. DJ True. <laughs> I'm a yeah. piano. You know they be doing that yeah. at the Anderson every third Thursday as well. I know we'll be doing messages at Bar Nancy on the 3rd. For oh, show, snap, dude. so I... post New Year's. Oh shit! Yo, Oro Fresco class. is dropping is is dropping a tune through Future Everything. Oh yeah, uh, okay. the 29th of December drops. Shout out Future Everything. Shout out Future Everything in Memphis. One time they they put us on their compilation album and and uh, Oro Fresco is gonna be yeah we <laughs> that's little tune me and Golden Flora. Shout out Golden Flora put together. That shit is fire. Shout out Golden Flora. Yes sir. What's Gucci, bro? What you got popping, man? Yo, Anything good. before let, that let in the Tamsum end? talk about his parties first. Tell he us. Tell us, Tamsin. Yo, so yeah, I do have a few parties coming up. Actually, this Saturday is actually Saturn Sari's birthday. Um, and we're playing at Garage hey, Bar. Play. Uh, where? Garage Bar this Saturday. Um, it sounds like some Broward stuff. With Forest Fires Radio. It's going to be pretty fire. Where is that? It's in Hollywood, Florida. Okay. Dale. It's sound we is going to be crazy. A lot of Saturday. Subs. Be a lot of subs for out sure. There. I'll ride with you because that's far as fuck, baby. Let's do it <laughs> <laughs> for sure. What else, my G? What else do we got? Se te well, I have stuff, I have stuff I can't say. Ah, oh, those what? are the good stuff. Say it now. He said, No, nah, I signed NDAs, <laughs> but <laughs> tell but us Saturday. All right, for sure. Actually, ask me in person on Saturday. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sabado gigante. Sabado. What you got, Mr. Topher? Anything? January 6th, we're not talking about no insurrections. We got <laughs> Rumble in the Jungle back in Miami. Rumble, Rumble. <laughs> Rumble in the Jungle. Go. Rumble in the Jungle. And Shirley's at Gramps. Slide yeah, through. Shirley's at Gramps. There you go. And January 6th. We're doing it different this time. We're, since we're at a new venue, we're going to be doing a free little something with our friends at Optical. It's Rumble versus Optical plus special guest Tony. So uh, come pull up if you like bass music, and um, keep it locked for the next few ones. We got we got a couple other things brewing, you know. So keep it locked for that. That's Bro, nice. that's what's up, man. Yeah, facts, if you're feeling fancy, facts. you can always buy a twenty bottle of uh, prosecco at Gramps. Yeah. So. Oh, oh, my bad. Last shout out to fucking Kewala podcast. The next episode that's dropping is Strange Bass. It was myself with motherfucking lame bot, savvy, guapo. We chopped it up. We talked shit. Fucking Noel even came in that mug. And we was talking shit about the 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 life and uh, uh, crimes of being a producer in Day County. <laughs> and, and DJ and crew people and all that shit, man. Bro, so we're going to get into some music. Let's do this. We got Tamsom on the decks. Hey. Let's go. Let's go. This is Strange Ways every third Thursday. 
adultradio.org, DJ Samson.
dangerous. Ask little bro if you think that I'm lying. Them man hate Kaya man so fly. Like take two J1s and I'm nice. I thought my bedroom was an up, so I stopped. Nearly pie pie. Quang is this, Quang is that, Quang is Marga. His head's fat, but I'm so king in this switch, that's fat. Fucked his <laughs> we with her man. My man don't fuck with them, you choke man. <laughs> Low it, I meant choke men. Holding one from up the old blue. Met a sweet one from down the old ten. Like, Big crank face, crank face from the knob. Big crank. How did I come this far? I think I'm a bandit, they think I'm a star. When I cut through, man, they pee like raw. Face so big that I can't go shop, man. I always get clocked, this shit is so hot. Who's that? Is it a fan or is it a hot? Who's that? Either way, man, I'm moving on job. Who's that? Who's that? I love my freedom, but I risk it anytime I see them. Fly at the ride, man, breathe them, breathe them. Put me up, man, he kept on. L2R2, man, pop this corn like the cinema view. If those key draws, man, chilling it too, man. Song two steps, trying to finish them you. Man, cut you, bust that. Painting, give me that WhatsApp. But when I hit you, better bring me that rock that Like, on the off block with a rock back. Two hands on, man, clutch that. Any shoes on sale, man, cock that. Any off on sight, man, block that. I'm like, who's that? What's that? Man, cut you, bust that. Painting, give me that WhatsApp. But when I hit you, better bring me that rock that Like, on the off block with a rock back. Two hands on, man, clutch that. Any shoes on sale, man, cock that. Any off on sight, man, block that. Yo. Right now, I see my life, so I was changing. Can't lie, see, I like it. I was chilling in the band, no, with cats last year. Now I'm chilling with a crew from Love Island. Different. Ken said, do this music thing. I don't like when you talk about riding. But this gang gang shit said sight, and I love drug money, big gun. Vibe it, bro. Ski jaws, and I'm chilling it too. Man zone two step, man step and flex round there trying to finish them utes. Hot block drilling it, get intimate, go home and I build my zoo. Incog, I don't need to step with a whole gang. More time I'm stepping in twos. Watch my back when I lean and shoot. Man do the same cut, that's my brother. Put one hand on my brother, man's getting straight round there with a straight. Man too tough and the neck, catch him in the flesh, spread him out like butter. In, in. I just put me a tender, about to put down another. Don't you know I'm about my butter? Ding. I love my freedom, I love it, but I risk it anytime I see them. Fly at the ride, man, breathe them, breathe them. Put me up, man, he kept on. L2R2, man, pop this corn like the cinema view. If those key draws, man's chilling it too. Man, zone two step, trying to finish them you. No, man, cut you, bust that. Painting, give me that WhatsApp, but when I hit you, better bring me that rock sack. Like, on the off block with a rock back. Two hands on, man, clutch that. Any shoes on, sell, man, cock that. Any off on sight, man, block that.
Jolt Radio, JoltRadio.org, at Strange Bass, MIA for the label and all that good stuff, at Strange Waves Radio for the IG, I think. Catch y'all next time, next year. Peace. All right. That was uh, Strange Waves.